And you know, when people ask you, how are you? It's always easy to say, no, I'm fine. Yeah. You know, we don't want to admit that, you know what? I need help. And some people, it's not easy to repent and to say I've been in a wrong place. And I don't mean because we necessarily sinning. Oh, yeah. Welcome to another edition of the Sermon Recap, where we take the previous Sunday service and we recap it. The previous Sunday, Pastor Wayne preached to us and he brought in a new series called Refresh. Well, I'm not alone as usual. I'm with a guest. I'm with a media guru, someone who's got more insights. So please let me welcome Max Ipara. Yeah, 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 yeah. Media guru makes me feel like I should be wearing a robe or something and just <laughs> sitting with my legs like this going home. I know everything about media. <laughs> <laughs> How's it, Mac? I'm good. And you, how are you? I'm really good. I'm good. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me as a guest. This is quite interesting. Yeah, it's been pending, Mac. Yeah, yeah. on this side of the couch. Oh, like, yes. I'm always watching and commenting now. I'm nervous because... I don't think I want to read the comments. We want to hear those comments <laughs> yeah, so right in front of the camera, Max. So if I said anything about the previous guest, please be gentle to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll be okay. Throw yeah. it all on him. He'll be okay. <laughs> he knows how to get himself out of that corner. Okay. Trust you. Yeah. Nice, man. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So, Mac, we had Pastor Wayne preach to us this previous Sunday. He was introducing the new series. Yes. And what I liked about it, he's, he said that it's more than a series. It's, yeah. it's like a season. Yeah, which is interesting because we've just gone into a new season. Oh, yes. So, I think that really resonates with people as well because they could be like, okay, yeah, and we just got into a spring season. Oh, yeah. So, that refresh title was really, really uh, appropriately named yeah so yeah no I, I like it i like what he said because it gets us out of thinking of a series pattern mm -hmm. rather than okay this is a new season and oh, everything yeah. grows everything goes back to life mm -hmm. yeah so no that was awesome the way he phrased it yeah well i view it in a sense that when he said it's a season you know when you're going through a season it's something that that's personal to you so i view it in that way that oh wow this this is actually god talking to me yeah. in this season through i mean through this series you know yeah. so that's how i view it that's how i looked at it you know mm. i overlooked the part that oh yes it is a new season we're in spring and we're excited about a new season but i was I was looking at it in a sense that this is a new season in my life and god wants to do something in my life yeah which yeah. is so important because it's so profound knowing that seasons change. Oh, yeah. So if I was going through a rough season, guess mm -hmm. what? A better season's coming. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So seasons change. So you don't have to stress about what season you're in. It will change. And whatever season you're going through, there's always a reason for you going through that season. Yeah. And happy are those that endure to see the next season because you held on mm -hmm. and you endured. And now you can enjoy the benefits of being refreshed in a brand new season imagine oh, yeah. you'd given up in the previous season yeah, yeah. I mean, it was winter it was cold it, yeah, was, it was dark dry. everybody's yeah. like oh when is this gonna be over yeah and now it is over mm -hmm. spring is here oh yes brand new life and we all like Phew. yeah if i can survive that I bring can it on anything and now after spring comes summer oh yeah so yeah let the good times roll people <laughs> <laughs> let the good times roll talking about rolling yeah here we go ready plan and I want to open the gate of refreshing today. So this is not a series, it's a season. It's a season of grace that God's giving all of us. And if we are ready for the season, we are opening it. And I'm going to pray that. Lord, I declare this morning a season of ref. I love this. Mm -hmm. A declaration prayer about this new season. Yeah, because there's power in your words. Your tongue does have power, yeah. Yeah, what you speak over your life tends to be what manifests over your life. Exactly. And I love how you said it's a new season of grace. Oh, yeah, yeah. God's grace doesn't run out. It's like we always used to hearing God's mercies are new every day, mm -hmm. but God's grace also follows. Yeah. So a new season of grace. So if you've always thought, ah, I've blown it up big time, don't yeah. worry. There's loads of trucks of grace. Oh, yeah. Hmm hear what what he says in this prayer refreshing in our body our soul and our spirit in jesus name and we claim it and we pray that the gates of heaven will open and the, the rivers will flow from the throne of heaven so that we can tap in and we can drink and we can splash and we can shower and we can just enjoy lord your refreshing in this season we declare it and we claim it today and we say thank you lord for this season of refreshing and we just lift up our hands this morning and our...
we declare it and we claim yeah. this season of refreshing. So more often it's there, but we don't take it. Yeah. And you know, I've always seen that when um, we say, you know, with schools and say in assembly, they who wants to pray? Yeah. They, they all put up their yeah, hand. Yeah. So often I don't pick a hand. I just sit and wait. Oh, and yeah. one kid will run up. Yeah. And say I'm gonna pray. Oh yeah. And then they'll be like, why? Why are you choosing him? I'm like, I didn't choose him. I said, who him. wants to pray? Yeah. And he ran up and took that. So God has given us grace. We're declaring it, and oh, then yeah. we're going to. Claim it. Yeah. That's so powerful. And I feel that also God is saying to us in this season, this is a season that we need to be holy. Mm. You know, be holy for him because he wants to do a new thing in our lives. You know, he wants to refresh us with his Holy Spirit and he wants to refresh us with with the relationship that he has with us. You know, he wants to uplift us, you know. So I felt that the the most thing that was emphasized in this uh, previous sermon was, was being holy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this season is obviously working and building up to something. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. So I wonder if we should mention that. Because mm-hmm. with the season that we're going through, we obviously have a goal in mind. Oh, yes. For not just living with church, but for Albertson. Oh, yeah. Anybody that watches online. Yes. Yeah. So because you can connect through in various social media platforms. Oh, yes. So there's always a goal in mind. And what is that goal that we're actually trying to achieve? To achieve. Yeah. yeah. In order for us to tap into that new season, we need to repent. Yes. This is what he said. I repent. It is so important, part of refreshing, is to repent. The Bible says, so repent, which is very important. That means we need to come back to the roots of our salvation. For those that have never given their lives to the Lord, it's a time to come. Before I play it on, he also says that, even if you do have a relationship with Christ, mm-hmm. try to rekindle that relationship. If I could throw a little bit of a controversy there, you know, the word repent, which is quite interesting, means to turn from what you're doing that is wrong or to yes. turn back to God or to re- to do a 180 degree. Yeah. And some people, it's not easy to repent and to say, I- I've been in a wrong place. And I don't mean because we necessarily sinning. Oh, yeah. So if you think about the previous season, and when Pastor Wayne started that sermon, he mm-hmm. had those really cool, interesting pictures. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where he was showing which kind of place are you in? Yeah. Are you in a dry desert? Are you in are a you green, know? lush mm-hmm. forest? Or are you in a washed up uh, lake or in a dry lake or yeah. in a full one? Mm-hmm. And the guy in the desert? Or yep. are you under a spring? Yeah. And you know, when people ask you, how are you? It's always easy to say, no, I'm fine. Yeah. You know, we don't want to admit that, you know what? I need help. Exactly. And now this season, of refreshing has just reminded us we need to come to a place where we admit you know what i'm in that dried up desert yep and i want god to transform me to this spring to this season of just refreshing oh, yeah. and i think repentance comes and say lord i need your help because if you convince yourself it was yeah. all going well mm-hmm. then why do you need to be refreshed and another part that i want to recap on is is the it's the praise and worship you know like i said earlier mm. on is that what i got from this sermon is that we need to be holy you know we need to to refresh our relationship with christ you know that's that song holy forever yeah. was sort of like a platform setting us up yes so one of the things about worship for me i feel it brings you to a place of vulnerability yeah you know and most people are afraid to do that yeah uh-huh. like who wants to be vulnerable in front of everybody yeah, no, yeah. who wants to admit it's not all going well yeah. but i find personally i used to struggle with that because mm-hmm. i never want to get into worship because if i do i feel like you're going to watch just how vulnerable i, I am, am. Yeah. but i think it's when you allow yourself to, to be, be that and when you watch james lead worship oh, yeah he just opens up and oh, says yeah. lord um he, he becomes vulnerable in front of god exactly. and through that leading we all saying you know what god unless we dive in yeah. into that presence mm-hmm. we're not going to be able to experience what you have and the worship man has just allow our hearts to be vulnerable yeah. and i think that's why it's been so powerful and so anointed this past couple of sundays yeah yeah there you go. Hear your people say holy to the king of kings holy well yeah recommit yourself to be refreshed with christ to have that relationship again with him. Thank you uh, so much for watching the sermon recap. Please don't forget to like and comment. We will catch you next time. Thank you for watching. We love you. Yeah.